Welcome to the Spotlight. This is Kaila Malyavika Gayatri. In this fine time, I present to you the first ever Spotlight program of OJ News. When we think of Osmania University, it is the academics that comes to our mind first. However, there is more to it than meets the eye. Being part of this magnificent institution, our team went back to the pages of history remembering the everlasting glory of this institution. Did you know the University College of Arts and Social Sciences has a museum well preserving the culture, tradition, artifacts of history and the tribes of the Deccan that helped the historians, anthropologists and sociologists to add to the study of mankind as we know them today. I welcome you all to this journey into the museum where our our correspondent Kranti Kiran shall guide you through it. Over to you Kranti. Thank you Malavika Gayatri. Today we are at the entrance of Arts College. I would like to talk about a museum. In the busy and fast lives, museums are always the places to breathe, to learn, to understand the society's history and its evolution. So, let us try to take a look of a museum which is in the Department of Sociology, Usmania University. Come, let us try to find out which is, where is the museum. See, uh, this is the left wing of Usmania University and the Department of Sociology is this way. This structure is magnificent, man. Doesn't seem like it's built for. Doesn't seem like it's built for humans. It's like a huge creature. This creation is for. Let us see. The Department of Sociology is that way. Let us try to find out which is the museum. Oh, this is the museum. Museum on social life. Okay. But let us try to find where, where is the entrance. This is locked. Oh, this looks like an entrance to it. Let us see. Come, let us explore the museum. Here we are at the Museum of Social Life. There are lots of paintings pictures oh, there are lots of artifacts that, that those are talking about the human uh, life and its evolution so oh, there are lots of jaws here and such skulls and these all things are, must be uh, those from the primitive uh, lives of human kind uh, this must be kept for the understanding of how human evolution has taken place this museum has so many uh, so many things which helps us in our academics such as like we people can't uh, can't go to the tribal areas like okay. in person by seeing all these uh, artifacts and all we i am uh, i'm getting so much knowledge okay i don't want to go there i can see here and i can know how people live this basically tells about tribal people this museum has most things as uh, tribal people so i am knowing uh, what they use what is their lifestyle then this is also having uh, some things of primitive man and ancient man also okay so not only just tribal things this is helping me uh, and inspiring me to learn more about tribal people and this museum helps us to conserve the culture of tribal people interesting lots of things man oh there is a chat it is talking about tribes in telangana who talks about type i mean different types of tribes that are residing in telangana gond koya kolam banjara Oh, nice. Oh, let us try to see what all is there, is there inside this museum. Oh, this looks like hunting equipment. Oh, there are boomerangs. I mean, sharp objects, which must have been used for hunting at the ancient times. Oh, this looks like agriculture equipment, or maybe this could have also been used for hunting. It looks like sharp objects are there, sharp tools are there. Nice, interesting. Oh, there is something more here. What is this? Looks like stones or something. Must have been some fossils of something, man. I am not aware. Let us try to see what it is. Looks like pottery. 
Some pottery is also there. Who so must have been the remains of the pottery of the ancient times, man. Nice. Interesting. So no university in India is having this kind of museum. Uh, but uh, there are certain museums, those are exclusively run by the government by through various agencies. But uh, at the university level, I think uh, as per my knowledge, only the Department of Sociology is having the uh, museum and social life. Most of the artifacts, uh, those were collected from the rural and tribal areas of Telangana. So particularly the regions like uh, Adilabad, uh, that is from Gond area and uh, the Chenchu region, that is uh, Nalamala project, uh, Nalamala forest. So in fact, uh, this is very small museum, but uh, the artifacts, they give lot more insights for the students who are studying here and who, are, who would like to visit this uh, particular museum. Oh, this looks like a hut. A tribal hut or something? Nice, uh, interesting. Let's see, I mean, this looks like hunting equipment. Oh, agriculture equipment. Yeah, interesting. Lots of paintings of tribal women. There's a Lambada woman here. I mean, I, I, can, I can identify easily with the attire. That is why I can simply say this is the Lambada attire. Lots of things, man. A pluffing equipment. Nice. Oh, there are more huts just like before. I mean, it looks like the houses, I mean, how they have evolved from time to time. It looks like a, a proper structure, this one. That looks like a, a I mean, dole. No, Dappu, yeah. Belongs to the drum family. There's a, another drum family. Uh, I don't know, what do you call that? Must be some Dolu, Dolu or something. Nice, there are more paintings. Okay, lots of paintings about the tribal, I mean, the, the Christopher von Heimendorf. He was a great scholar, he was talking about lots of, I mean, he worked extensively for tribals and... I mean, uh, he is the reason for what, uh, what kind of tribal policies that are existing right now in the nation. I mean, his research work is the base for all the uh, tribal policies, important tribal policies that are existing in this nation. Let us see, try to see no more. Looks like another a platform which must be built in the farm, if I am not wrong. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it looks like a skeleton. There is a skeleton. You can see that. Looks like a, uh, an original skeleton. Don't know. There's a this bottle like structure, I don't know. Must have been. Oh, there's something written in Telugu. It's called Kallu Burra. Oh, must must be used for used to drink Kallu from through uh, with the help of this, you know, uh, structure. What is this? With the help of this bottle like structure. Nice. Oh, there are lots of things made from bamboo, bamboo baskets. They must be used for, uh, you know, carrying the food or, you know, food, uh, groceries or anything food related item in this. Baskets, there are a lot, I mean, different kinds of baskets even in the... Oh, there's more hunting equipment here. Looks very sharp. A bow, arrows, it's like fishing equipment, the fish net. Interesting. Most of them must have been from the bamboo only, you know, bamboo. Bamboos and tribes are closely associated, like as, yeah, there are more bamboo structures. Oh, there's, a, there's this thing called, I don't know, what do you call it in English? This is called as Chata, Chata in Telugu. Generally, what do they do is, uh, uh, if I can use the Telugu things, BM Chargadan ki use just sound, Chata. Ippudu kuda use just sound and kunta. Ippudu ready to cook rice at chashin ga batti teli du. But earlier, my aunt, rural population la inka campus sound, Chata. Inka emun du chuddan ki try yaddam. Oh, ornaments, tribal, I mean, Ornaments like and business. There's a wooden comb here. Nice. Put in recent times, like bamboo brush, bamboo comb, even use this thing. Well, I'll use this. Sir. Children, there is uh, there are a lot thing, lot more things about uh, like ornaments, probably. Even the anklets, gauchu, kadiyam. There is a lot of kadiyam and bills, sir. Kadiyal or nae, gajjal or nae, kada bracelets or nae. Necklace lantis structures and chinnaga earrings and there are earrings, bracelets, a comb, anklets, chala ornaments. There are lots of ornaments. See, it's a bracelet. Looks like a bracelet with a red color uh, beads. Nice. 
Oh, there's a musical string instrument, I mean, down there. Looks like a string, yeah, it's a string instrument. I don't know what you call it. There's more hunting equipment here with bows and arrows. I mean, what I personally feel is, this museum doesn't only preserve the artifacts and tools, but also uh, gives urban people an understanding about the tribal life and the, you know, the uh, social structure of the tribal societies. Interesting. Oh, there looks like a miniature, uh, you know, pieces. I mean, show a miniature structures of a tribal woman. Probably that's a Lombarda woman. I mean, yeah, there are more. I, I cannot uh, properly uh, recognize what tribes they are. There are more miniature things down there. Okay, people performing different activities. There are lots of miniature things here. Nice. There's pottery down there. Lots of pottery. And then there's a drum, a small drum. Probably, what do you call? Tudum, tudum. I, what I have known is tudum, something like that. Okay, let's try to know more. What is this? Looks like a, a instruments. I mean, kolatam is a play that generally happens in Telangana. I mean, many places. Looks like those sticks are used for used to do the kolatam and things. Down, I mean, the drum family again. The dolu, I know. I mean, this must be dolu, dol, dol and dolu. Okay, let's try to know what what more is there. Oh, nice. This is this. I know this. This is like. The bison dance that's performed by by the Koya tribe of Telangana. These are the horns of bison. Those things, bison, bison horns, the peacock feathers, and I mean bison. I don't know how do you call it bison adavidunna. In Telugu, it is adavidunna. So uh, what do they do is they hunt adavidunna for their survival, and then later they use their horns and they try to you know. Uh, uh, show, uh, do a uh, cultural activity which resembles a uh, bison fight with this using this uh, caps which they put, the, put on their heads and they try to perform the dance. I mean, it's a it's a cultural practice that they do. It's very interesting. You must watch if you can. Is the museum and social life, sociology department of Smania Samanichindi, Ikadina artifacts, Ikadina tools, Ikadina paintings, Ivani Guda. Kundavranta Loni Vesinche, Adiva Sileuka, Jeevan Avidanani, Jeevan Asailini, Manaka Ardamaya Laga, Uka Manaka clear understanding it Chelaga, Ivani Manaki help out. Thanks and over to Malivika. Thank you, Kranti, for the tour. We surely have a rich heritage here at Osmania. We will be coming up with more such content, so stay tuned and take care until next time.